Hi guys, this is Sarah Collager and welcome to Ampersand Unique Gifts and Home Decor. I am bringing you a thrift haul from the auction. If you are new here, I work as a part-time clerk for Coke Auction Services here in Milltown. And I want to show you some of the goodies that I have picked up recently. And then at the end, I'll do um, just a few quick makeovers. Here we go. Let's get started. There were some items that were architectural salvage, salvage that I got. So I don't know if um, you're familiar, but these are like the stars that you see on the sides of buildings. Um, they literally have things that go through with cables that would tie to them. So this one um, has the threaded uh, you know, rebar post. And it uh, would then have a cable that would go through to the other side. And literally, that's what held some of these buildings together and kept them stable. So I was able to pick up this set of five. And there are three with the posts and two that are by themselves. And I paid $5 for the set of five. Next, uh, also for $5, I picked up two of these. Um, I, I listed them as towel racks. I honestly am not 100% sure what this is. If you know, you can let me know. But they are very heavy. They are also cast. So um, they are very heavy. And I thought it had a place where you could see um, where you could put a screw through it. But I guess you would just have to put it through the hole so it already exists. But again, there's two of them. They're very heavy. Uh, the items were outside at the auction, so everything still needs to be cleaned. Um, next, I have these two corbels. Also, I paid $5 for the pair. Um, but they are really a good size. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to paint them yet or leave them as they are. You can see where they were very um, lightly painted. Oops, you can't see it. There we go. And it actually has some of the wood coming through. But I may go ahead and put another coat on there and then just distress some of that back. Speaking of corbels, <clears throat> so there was only one of these. I am going to actually paint this one uh, after I clean it. Again, you know, the stuff has obviously been sitting outside. Um, but this one, um, I'm sad because it was only one. So we'll paint it. A lot of people use these kind of as shelf sitters, bookends, and, and such. But so this one came in this tote, and I paid $5 for uh, the whole tote. And this one is full of one, two, three, four, five, eight of these. Okay, so I also picked up this bird cage and it was a little bit spendy compared to probably uh, some other things and things that it would have gotten but I loved this old bird cage it's very rusty you know you're bidding on items and a lot of times they have a whole pile of things and it's choice so if there's something in there that you want then you'll continue to bid until you win the bid and then you can get that and as many other items that you want at whatever that price is. And once you've picked out your items, then that can open the bid again. And sometimes it'll, sometimes it'll actually go for more. So people that didn't get in will then end up paying more for the items that, um, that they bought the second time they go around. But anyway, that's what that was. And the bid was at $8 and I got that and a few other items that I kept for home. But <clears throat> I didn't want to miss out on it and have it be that somebody got it the next time. So, again, $8. So, that brings me to these lanterns. So, I have these two lanterns. You can see they're pretty tall. And these are in really good shape. They look like they were either undercover or in the house. It has these little rose bushes on there that I will use for something else. I will clean them up and use them for Christmas. But I got the pair for $4 because it was choice item at $2 a piece and I got several items at $2 so I paid four for the pair. Um, this one, oddly enough, was somewhere different. It's the same kind but it's very rusty and it's missing a foot. 
So this one I will do something different with. I will figure out what I want to do. I may take off the other feet and just have it sit and rest on these uh, and probably give it a paint job. But all three of them I will do up for Christmas and have them in my Christmas booth. Um, speaking of Christmas, and this is something that I will be working on today after we go through the thrift haul, and that is this adorable little Christmas goose. I just thought he was so cute. So this and the other lantern I paid a dollar a piece for. Um, but this one has got some damage. He is broken. And I'm going to take some IOD air dried clay and I'm going to work on that. And then depending on how that looks, uh, we may give him a new paint job to blend that in. So there was a lot of Christmas at this auction. There was a whole section that I guess somebody had brought in a bunch of... Um, Christmas items. There's, there's a variety of reasons why things end up at these auctions. Sometimes they are estate sale type things. Uh, other times it's just somebody cleaning out their own hoard and bringing them and then it's quicker and easier than having a yard sale. They do pay a percentage to the auctioneer that is that has them, but this is an auction barn, so the items that are brought in throughout the day are brought in by lots of different people. Unlike if you saw the video that I did of the auction, that was an estate auction that actually took place at the owner's home um, or at the, the, the heir, the, the surviving heir's home. But these are just items that were there <coughs> that people brought in. Sorry, struggling from a little bit of a chest cold. Um, this is just a fan. I paid $5. It was during the um, everything was $5. And they kind of went in order of the way people were bidding. So if you were the backup bidder before the person won at $5, then, you know, you could go in. So I picked up this little fan. I had another one that I used in my craft room. And my husband needed one for his shoeing truck. My husband's a farrier. And he just needed something out there to have on hot days. It's in the back of his truck. Um, so this gave me a chance to grab another one. We looked at I didn't know whether it was a good deal or not. So, uh... We looked at walmart.com and the, um, I guess you can scan it and it'll tell you what something's selling for and it was selling for $16.42. So my $5 fan was a good deal. Um, so this was a bunch of canning stuff. Uh, this doesn't actually fit in here. Um, there are three lids. I don't know, I guess the one does actually go with the pot. This is little. And then this is another of the canning. <clears throat> Uh, and this is a lid that's empty. And then this pot, it doesn't have any holes in it, but it has lots of rusty patina. Um, and I will probably actually put a Christmas tree in that and sell it um, with decor with one of the Christmas trees. A few auctions ago, I picked up a whole bunch of Christmas trees. And so I will be adding them in something and reselling those. So that's what I'm going to do with that. These, I, people just like to use this by itself and set canning jars and set it on um you know on their counter as a centerpiece so this will actually get um i i've scrubbed the rusty things i will scrub and then clear coat so they won't continue to rust or get rust on uh, people's tables or counters and i will sell that separately and i think that is the one that goes with that maybe no nope, no nope, too small this one doesn't match so i don't actually think any of these lids go with this but I will repurpose the lids for something totally different. And stay tuned, you can see that. Um, I did make, out of the little white ones, I did make some snowmen. Um, I don't know what I'll do with these. I may, I may paint them, I may create something for a towel rack, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, I, I paid a dollar for the entire stack, the whole set. And this one, I actually think I am going to use as a wreath form and make some kind of wreath out of this one. I thought that would be kind of cool. Okay, guys, we are rounding the bend here. So these I also got from the Architectural Salvage trailer. Um, it is a set of seven balusters. I paid $2 for the set of seven. And I'm actually going to make a giant snowflake um, with six of them. Um, and then I will, I don't know, I'll probably put the other one just in my spindle stash and do something different with. Uh, I also, for $2, picked up this little curio cabinet. It's really cute. It's in good shape, has all the shelves, needs a good cleaning. It does have the glass, which is sitting on the table here. But the little, 
the little things that hold the glass in, right here, uh, the two are missing on that side, so I took the glass out just to make sure that I didn't break it, but I am going to paint that today, and we'll get that glass cleaned up and put back in there. Then, um, a dollar a piece, so these are, um, they're like, what do you call it? It's not cast, like wrought iron, that's it. Um, but these with the Florida de -Lis, these were from Walmart. They were $12.97 apparently um, in their day. And I paid a dollar a piece and I got five of them. So I have five of these little wreath stands and I will use those in my booth. They will be for sale, <coughs> but they come in handy when I do the Christmas booths to actually hang items on if I don't have a lot of wall space in the booth where I am. So um, this year for the Christmas one, I am indoors. I'm normally outside um, under the grandstands. And so this year I'll be inside and I plan to have a lot more furniture and less, I have less wall space, but I have a big long booth. So I'm hoping that I can set those on top of different pieces of furniture and therefore hang stuff. Um, so these next items were actually, um, again, from different, a different auction. These, I have seven of these. They are like wood frames. Um, apparently, um, I, I had somebody that picked these up for me. He, he said he was, <coughs> excuse me, thinking of me and knew that I love to redo stuff like this. But he said that the gentleman that was having the auction handmade them. And um, so I have seven. I paid $6. Most of them are the shape I just showed you. But I do have a couple that are like this. I think I actually have this upside down. And I will just paint them white, put a wreath on it, uh, and sell them as is. And then this one was actually free. The same gentleman picked this up for me. He said that um, he just had uh, knew that he knew it was something that I would like. It does have the hangers on the back. I am just going to give this a paint job, give it a good cleaning and a paint job. But again, he didn't take any money for that. He gave that to me for free. We work together at these auctions, so he's pretty used to the different items that I like to pick up. And so when I wasn't there, he saw that and just knew that I would love it. So anyway, he uh, grabbed that for me. And so that's it. So I got a few items I'm going to go ahead and remake for you. So I'll be right back once I get everything set up and get going. So I start out with some IOD air dried clay and I work it really well in my fingers to get it good and soft. And now I'm just going to press it down in there and take, I actually I'm using a small screwdriver, um, to just wipe away the excess. And then I'm going to start taking that screwdriver and I'm going to start making holes and little divots that mimic the original piece that was in there. I really didn't want to have to repaint the entire piece. So I'm going to try to blend in that little addition by just using some really watered down Waverly antiquing wax. And I'm going to just dot it in there and wipe it away. And you'll see in the reveal how well it blended in. So next up, we're going to work on these corbels. I'm going to start with the larger white corbel. And I am using the Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint in the color Farm Fresh. I wasn't really going for an overall coverage because I knew I was going to distress back some of that under color but this clay based paint is so amazing that it only took one coat to get the coverage that I was looking for. So using a I'm just using a wet wipe and you can use a paper towel or more commonly I just use a wet rag but I had these here and I'm scraping around on the corners with it and then I begin to use the actual scraper because I wanted it to continue to have that old worn salvaged look and then of course anywhere that I had a clump of paint maybe my paint got a little bit thick then I would just get in there and scrape that off and it would continue to have that beautiful worn look. I don't know the history of these of course obviously because they were from the auction so I don't know if they really were taken down off of somebody's porch or where they came from. This one does have the screw holes and it was definitely more worn so I don't know. I'm going to tell myself that, yeah, this is really off of an old house and I absolutely love it. So I'm keeping true to its look. So 
I am giving it a coat of the DIY wax and clear because I want that as a base underneath this deco art brown wax that I'm using to keep that antique -y look. I use a disposable brush. I just I bought a ton of these at a yard sale one time. So I just use it and then throw it away rather than try to keep it. And I'm globbing it here in the corners. And in most cases, there was enough from that that when I used my sock to spread it around everywhere on the corbel, I didn't need to add more. But I just added it as I needed it to continue to give it that look. And I really love the way it turned out. Um, next up, we're going to take the same working with the DIY brand. This one is the Cottage Color collaboration with Jamie Ray, and it's in the color Haint Blue. It looks white here, but I promise it is a beautiful soft blue. And I'm mixing it with cornstarch to give it a little bit of texture because on this old black corbel, I wanted something that when it was distressed back to kind of have a hint of color in some different places. So I just picked a few places, globbed it on there, left it really chunky so that when we sanded back, it would be able to be seen. Using the DecoArt Crackle Medium, I'm going to give the entire corbel a good coat of the crackle. You want to just not really overwork what this is. You want to go in one direction. And then when you use your paint, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using the vintage linen. And you don't want to overwork the paint or you'll actually end up painting over where it's crackling because it crackles so fast. I was amazed at how fast it did. All right, so this is what it looks like after sitting all night. And even though my mom has a table that looks just like this and it's legit cracked old, I just want to give it a little sanding, maybe wear it a little bit. I just want it to look a little less like I used a crackle medium. So we're going to work on it a little bit more. <laughs> 